Hi everyone, I'm going to explain the concept of workflows. Custom workflows, often called workflows, minimize the tedium associated with repetitive tasks. I'll demonstrate how to define a workflow. More specifically, I'm going to create a workflow around generating tests for a new feature before committing the changes. To access the workflows management screen, click on the customizations icon on the top right hand side. Now, we see Windsurf's customizations. I will now click on the workflows tab. Then I will click on the Add New button, which will then prompt me to enter the invocable name of the workflow. I will enter Test New Changes. Now we are in the midst of creating a new workflow, which requires a description and content. The description is a high-level summary of the content below. For this use case, I will enter Test New Changes. Next, I will enter the content, which includes the main instructions for Cascade to follow. First, I want to provide some context on why I'm trying to invoke this workflow. Thus, I will begin with, I just finished making a feature to my game Windsurf Demo. To wrap things up, I want to, and now I will input the steps I want Cascade to follow. They include, first, stage the changes, second, write unit tests, third, test the code, four, fix any issues that appear in step three, five, draft a PR, and six, commit the code. With that, a workflow has been created. Now, let's see this workflow in use. To set the scene, I just finished implementing a new feature on my Windsurf demo game, adding decay to player scores over time. Now I want to test and commit my changes. Thus, I type into Cascade, I want to test the new feature I implemented, score decay over time, run backslash test new changes. I invoke the workflow I just created by hitting backslash and selecting the relevant workflow. Now Cascade has started implementing the workflow. It tried to understand the current state of the code before staging the commit, the first step in my workflow. Then it implemented some tests before running them. Note how Cascade gracefully handled the failed tests and worked on fixing them. Yet another step in my workflow. Now that the tests have passed, Cascade finishes the workflow by creating a PR draft and committing the code. Notice how none of this required an intervention from my end. This means I literally could have let Cascade run through the workflow while I got a coffee. In summary, workflows allow you to easily minimize the tedium associated with repetitive tasks. They are easy to set up and share with teammates, enabling you to scale your best practices. With that, workflows are yet another way Windsurf accelerates software development in ways that best fit your specific situation. Thanks again for watching. Now feel free to try workflows out or view some of our other tutorials, like rules or memories on Windsurf University. Surf's up.